Senate Joint Resolution 54 relating to proclaiming November 2013 as Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. The question is, shall Senate Joint Resolution 54 be concurred in? Lady from the 41st. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A couple comments on, on this, and we have another resolution coming a little bit later regarding uh, breast cancer awareness. You can't go on, uh, you can't watch a uh, uh, National Football League uh, game nowadays without seeing those bright pink uh, shoes and, and wristbands and so on because it's, uh, uh, or go on their website without an ad to try to buy some, some pink paraphernalia to go towards breast cancer research, which is, which is a good thing. Today, there's an event going on down at the Cole Center as part of the American Cancer Society's Coaches versus Cancer fundraiser. Uh, this is an event, if you're a young professional or maybe a, a, a seasoned professional, uh, there is an entry fee today at 5.30 to 7.30, but if you're a UW student, so maybe some of our uh, uh, young folks from the sergeant staff uh, would like to go over, you can get in for free. And for every UW student that walks in, Bo Ryan will pay a dollar toward, uh, toward uh, cancer uh, fundraising. If you make a free throw, he'll pay $10. And if you can make a half-court shot, he will pay ten. He will pay one thousand dollars toward research. These are all great things, but I bring forward this proclamation today uh, to make folks aware that pancreatic uh, cancer is the deadliest of the cancer uh, types. Most pancreatic cancer patients will die within the first year of being diagnosed. Less than six percent will survive five years. Although it is the 10th most common type of cancer among uh, men and ninth most common among women, it ranks fourth as the cause of death and is predicted to become the second uh, very shortly. Earlier this year, uh, the, uh, our, actually in Washington, one of the things they did get done earlier this year was um, something called the Reconciling Cancer Research Act. And they're looking to increase the amount of funding and research that is done because although this is a very deadly cancer, only 2% of the National Cancer Institute's federal research funding goes toward this. And we're looking to raise awareness and make sure that we have uh, many more dollars coming towards this. It isn't something that is uh, new as a resolution to the, uh, to the body in uh, 09, the uh, member from the 80th brought forward this resolution because, because of her, uh, the death of her husband. In 11, the gentleman from the 38th brought forward this resolution recognizing that um, his father-in-law, the, uh, the father of Lieutenant Governor Clayfish, also passed away from this. And we heard a little earlier this year from the lady of the 70th who uh, recently lost her brother. And the reason I brought this forward today is because, as we all know, our staff becomes like our extended family. And uh, one of my staff members, Bethany from my office, uh, earlier this year lost her father-in-law to pancreatic cancer, diagnosed the beginning of December of 12, passed away just barely five months later, in uh, April of that year. So um, here today with us are members of the Anderson family, Bethany's husband, Drew, and um, Paul Anderson, his, his dad. Um, his sister, Kay, and her husband, Jim, are here uh, just to help us raise awareness for this. We also have Actually, the national representatives of the national organization, the state affiliates here, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, and we have representatives from that organization here today. And we want to highlight another event that's going to be coming up here at the Capitol later this month to help raise awareness. Sunday evening, October 27th, they will have their purple light uh, recognition and celebration so anyone who's in the, in the neighborhood, would be, uh, uh, we'd be happy to have you come. We also know that there are other 
uh, folks who are in the public eye who have, who have had uh, family members who have suffered from this. We know, uh, of course, Governor Thompson's family has been, has been uh, stricken with uh, this, this issue more than once. So I'd also like to recognize the folks from the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network who are here. First of all, uh, from the Madison chapter, uh, and these are all volunteers. Uh, Tammy Andres, who is actually uh, beaten the odds, and she is an eight-year survivor of pancreatic cancer. Deb Harmon is here. There we go, Deb. Uh, Diane Jensen and uh, Gary um, Calvungen uh, from the Madison area, and Mary Jo Reed from the uh, Milwaukee area. So we would like to acknowledge all the work that you folks do in raising awareness, and we want to uh, uh, share with the body that uh, we all appreciate what you, what you do for us in uh, hoping that this too will be a uh, cancer that, given, given research and more attention, will be on the downward, incline, uh, downward path instead of an incline. So thank you very much for being here, and, and our condolences to, to your families.